Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. We're gonna do a few days of my life. So much to get done this week. I'm excited because I feel like last video was supposed to be like a pulling the house together type of vlog, but it was the weekend. There's like a fly in here and it's bugging me because we've been keeping the windows open, but I just sat on my computer, did some work. I want to start a week of my life because we have a lot of things to get to. I know in my last vlog, there was like a lot of home projects that we didn't get to. So we're definitely gonna get to all those in this week's vlog and yeah we still had a productive weekend last week i feel like we did get to some things just not everything and a few more things have added to the list like i really want to redo my bathroom with all of my makeup stuff in the drawers and honestly just like pick up around the house and then we have a few fun plans so if you want to start my morning off by making a smoothie i've been craving it ever since we got our new blender i haven't made a smoothie at our house in so long because we haven't had a blender i have gotten smoothies out so i've definitely drank smoothies i just haven't made one got these at whole foods yesterday i'm gonna do some almond butter some cinnamon chia seeds and vanilla protein just made myself a smoothie and I put some granola on the top and it's actually really good. I like it, I haven't done that in so long, but the cookie granola just makes everything taste good. I showed you guys that in my last video, but we're in the bathroom because I really want to organize everything under my sink and my makeup. I'm gonna empty out all my drawers. I've been living very unorganized, like I'll show you guys before just so I can show you guys after, but we've just been like throwing things in these drawers and I can't take it anymore. So I'm gonna sit in the bathroom for a little bit, start this project and hopefully we can finish it today. I feel like it's gonna be a bigger project than I thought. I know it's gonna be worth it just right now. I'm like, Ugh, I do not feel like starting this project because I feel like I will not want to finish it today, but we have to. So I'm setting the goal. I'm gonna put a podcast on, make it enjoyable. The drawers have zero organization to them. It's honestly so bad. So we're gonna fix everything. And it's gonna be fun. <laughs> out of the drawers, laid it out. I still need to go through all of the makeup bags and kind of organize what I want with what. I'm gonna clean out the drawers, but I'm gonna put a podcast on because I feel like that makes the time go by way faster. I feel like I went into a rut with listening to podcasts. I haven't been listening as much. I've been loving Transform. This one is so good. It's Sammy and Sammy from the Form team. And then I love JC and Chelsea's What We Said podcast. I don't have a lot of time to listen to podcasts, so when I do, those are my two favorites. What makes me feel good? unique and what works for me isn't gonna work perfectly for you okay i'm like so hot right now but i just finished it took me an hour and five minutes by the way this podcast episode was so so good i will link that down below like wow it was with brinley and this is what the drawers turned out i have my makeup drawer i have my hair drawer and then i have my skincare slash other like extra things drawer. And then out here, I'm gonna keep like stuff that I do with my hair every single day, like my brush, my hair gel, and then a few like makeup products that I use every day in skincare. And then I washed this one. I just got like makeup on all of these. I'm sad about it, but it's fine. And then I just keep out my lotions because I use those every single day. And then I also went through and cleaned all the counters. I cleaned inside the drawers. I feel very, very good. This one's Hunter's by the way, so I didn't do that one because he already had his, has it organized. But this is what it looks like. We need to get two rugs in here, but I feel very, very good. Okay, now that I'm done cleaning, I'm gonna go to the gym. It's gonna be a full body day today. And I'm doing one of the workouts from the next guy that I don't really like to talk about because I honestly don't know when I'm watching it. It's just not perfect yet. And I'm still testing out some of the workouts. So whenever I know when that's gonna be live, I will obviously share it with you guys, but I haven't talked about it a lot. I've talked about it a couple times. But this morning I was actually working on the graphic part of it, which I'm so excited about because it's going to be completely different than the last guide that I did, like night and day different aesthetic. And I'm super, super excited to finally share it with you guys when I am ready to do that. I do want to mention really quickly before I go the sponsor of today's video, which is actually Skillshare, which is the only reason why I know anything about graphic design. If you guys are either a creative or business professional, this is such a cool website to learn. 
They have so many different categories. They have film categories, editing, graphic design. I even saw today that they had a Notion category. I've always wanted to use Notion. I've seen other people use Notion for like planning out their week and like their social media strategy, all of that. And I tried it once and I honestly was just kind of confused on the website. So I thought it was cool that they had that. But that's just an example of how they have so many different classes on there. It's actually the largest online learning community for creatives. They have thousands of different creative classes in countless categories, ranging from beginners to advanced. It's designed by creatives for creatives and it's one of my favorite sponsors I've ever worked with. If you guys are interested in it, the first 500 people who click the link down below will actually get one month free on Skillshare and you guys can get started today. So let me know if you guys check them out. Also, thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's go to the gym. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Just got home from spin. This top, not a good spin top. I just haven't been on my spin game this week, but that's fine. And then on top of that, I've had a pretty heavy week of work. Like, I know it doesn't probably seem like it just from the vlog, but just behind the scenes, like doing computer work, having emails, I have a meeting tomorrow morning that's important. I don't know if that's interesting. I don't really like show that part in the vlogs just because I feel like it's repetitive because I do the same thing every week, but most of us do with our jobs. So let me know if you guys ever did want to see like a, maybe like how I edit and just the routine because I pretty much do the exact same routine every day for work. But anyway, I'm gonna go shower. I'm disgusting and sweaty. We're gonna have a sushi night tonight at home. I'm very excited. We're gonna order Oban. I'm excited, so I'm gonna take a shower, get this very sweaty top off of me, and then we're also gonna go play outside with Coco for a little bit because the sun just went down. Okay, it smells so good. I can smell the ramen. We also got a bao bun, rainbow roll, albacore nigiri, yeltel jalapeno, and some edamame too. Good morning, you guys. I just got dressed. I'm gonna go to the gym. This morning, I am wearing this Aritzia romper. I've had this for years. You've probably seen it a million times. And then I just have on my slides. My shoes are actually in the car. It's a leg day. So I'm gonna wear the flatter shoes that I have. I'll show you guys when I put them on. I'm gonna film my workout today, but I also packed a bag because I'm gonna go sit at the pool for a little bit, do work on my phone, and hopefully read for a little. Wait, actually, let me show you. I wanted to show you guys the bag that I've been using for the gym. This is actually the Pauline bag. They just sent it to me. I forget the exact name of it, but I'll link it down below. It's so cute. It holds so much stuff in it. I literally bring my book in case I have time to read at the gym. I have my water bottle. This has my electrolytes in it. That's why it's blue. Mm. Also, I found a new flavor of the Ultima packet. Hold on. I had never tried the blue raspberry, but I saw it at the checkout at Whole Foods. So I tried them. Best flavor I've ever had of electrolytes. Like, if you have those at your Whole Foods, you have to try them. Or if you want to order them online, I have a 20% discount code, not sponsored. I just cannot get enough of Ultima, so I keep talking about them in every vlog. But I also have my swimsuit in here. I have my tripod that's collapsible because I'm going to film my workout. And then I have like just the essentials like sunscreen, wired headphones in case my headphones die. And then usually I put my headphones in here as well. But like I said, I'm going to go to the gym and it's going to be a glute day. I think I'm just going to do like four to five exercises and call it a day. That's pretty typical for me, especially for a glute day. If I'm focusing on one specific muscle, I don't need a million different exercises. And I actually get this question a lot if I post a workout or if I'm showing something in a vlog. I get a lot of questions asking if as a beginner they can do those workouts or if they should do those workouts or if their workout should be different at the beginning versus if I've been working out for five years and they're kind of going off of what I'm at now. And honestly, the workouts that I've been doing now are pretty similar, almost the exact same to the workouts I did at the very beginning of my fitness journey. Maybe yes, I had a little bit less endurance, so maybe I wasn't able to do as many exercises in one go, but the actual exercises that I'm doing, for example, for glutes, hip thrusts, RDLs, back squats, Bulgarian split squats, the leg press machine, the abductors. I started off my fitness journey doing those exercises. The biggest difference is how much I lift now. So I'm a firm believer that basic is the best for exercise and I do think it's fun to add in fun exercises here and there but I usually will do that with like core exercises not my leg days not my back biceps I just keep it very simple for shoulders I'm doing Arnold press I'm doing shoulder press I'm doing front raises just keeping it very very basic and that's one because I don't feel like it needs to be any more confusing than that and two it's easy to track my progress over the years and it's just a very realistic way to build a workout routine rather than having these crazy exercises all the time and possibly doing exercises wrong and getting injured and having to be out. Like it's honestly just a simplified way to look at fitness and that's what I believe of fitness. For myself, it might be different for 
if you're an athlete or XYZ, there's so many situations and that's why I think that fitness and wellness is so personal to you. So there's not like one answer I can give anybody. So starting somewhere, but still doing the same exercises. I'd say the most important thing with fitness is focusing on form and then progressive overload if you are looking to build strength and muscle like I am, which I feel like most of you guys are because that's what I talk about so much on my channel. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym and finish my coffee and my electrolytes and I will try and film as much as I can, but it might be busy because it is Friday and I feel like people try to like squeeze it in before the weekend. So hopefully praying, but let's go. I'm also gonna go treat myself to an afternoon at the pool. Okay, I just came home, went to the grocery store, and then I'm gonna go to the nail salon at three. It's like two o'clock right now, but I'll show you guys everything that I got. I got some salmon, sushi, and then a vegetable roll for lunch, and then I got a tomato and onion for burger bowls this week. Got two lemons, limes, this veggie tray. I feel like we'll just make that and then add it to meals throughout the week. Some asparagus, because we're gonna grill tonight with my family if they're gonna come over. So I got some asparagus, avocado, cucumbers to dip in the hummus that I got. I got some spicy guac, pico two containers of chicken that's what we're gonna grill tonight and then i got myself some salmon to make for lunch tomorrow this is gonna be for dinner tomorrow the burger bowls we're gonna use turkey breast sweet corn for the grilling night these cherries looked really really good and then i also got these plums just to snack on i always like to switch up my fruits and vegetables that i get throughout the week and then over here i just got a restock of our almond milk oat milk and then i really want to try this i've seen it on tiktok it's supposed to be really good it's the Khalifa farms almond milk brown sugar creamer and I love brown sugar so I think I'm gonna like that and then I got some coconut water to add into my smoothies I got this three wishes grain free cereal I thought that'd be good for like dessert after dinner and then I really have been loving granola and I actually really like at Whole Foods they have this pre-made parfait and the granola sits in the parfait with fruit and it makes it just taste really good the next day because it's like really soft granola so I thought I would actually meal prep parfaits to have before my workouts this week and then I also got some garden ranch tortilla chips for tonight for the dips when my parents come over and then i got myself some topo chico because i love these okay i just got back home from the nail salon and this is what the nails came out like i actually love them i was actually a little bit scared when she started doing them just because i usually just get like the most simple nails and i was like is this going to be like a little bit too much for me but i feel like it just kind of looks neutral and then when you get up close you can actually see the sparkles so i love them i feel like they're so fun i'm so happy i did it especially since it's like my birthday it's something extra and i was thinking that i might actually do this for my bachelorette when the time comes and i think it's good inspo for anybody who let me see if it'll focus i think it's good inspo for anybody that has like something special coming up so i actually really really like them i love the like smaller french tip i think it looks really really nice and classic and chic so, so cute, I just poured myself a Topo Chico in a wine glass and then I actually just cut some lemon to put in it. That's my drink of choice tonight. And we're gonna get the food prepped, we're gonna grill tonight, we're gonna do chicken, asparagus, corn, and then probably just make like rice on the side and do like a teriyaki bowl. I'm very excited, I think it's gonna be really good because last time we did roasted chicken on the grill, it was so good. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then we're just gonna hang out tonight and then tomorrow is Monday. Okay, we're cleaning up and we just had some lunch. We had the leftovers of yesterday's grilling tonight. We're trying the Califia almond creamer. You don't like it? <laughs> you try it. It doesn't really taste like anything. It just tastes like almond milk. I love their almond milks and their oat milks. They have really good milks, but for the creamer, I don't know. It's just not that sweet. Maybe we didn't do enough. Nothing will beat this. That's very true. Actually, maple syrup is my OG. Maple syrup's good. Here, let's try this one. Though. A little 
bullet, but too much, you know what I mean? <laughs> Tastes like ice cream, but it is good. You're dramatic. <laughs> You're dramatic. One more sip. <laughs> I always drink so much of his coffee. And Dr. Pepper and all of your food and all of your everything. French fries. Anyway, I've been sitting here on my computer doing some work, catching up. Since it's Monday today, I feel like I kind of got behind over the weekend. Usually I do like a little bit of work on the weekend, but this weekend I did not do anything. And we went bowling with our friends. We hung out with my parents one night. We just did like a lot and it was so much fun. But now I'm kind of like feeling the negative side of that. I'm not gonna drink anything, but I have been feeling slight burnout. Not even with YouTube, like I love YouTube. I feel like I will always be in a groove with YouTube, but I've been feeling burnout with TikTok and Instagram. Not really Instagram. For some reason, TikTok. I just don't vibe with TikTok right now. And it's hard because that's where I started. And I feel like I used to connect so much with you guys on TikTok, but now I feel like there's like no connection on TikTok anymore. Well, I guess there's like comments and stuff, so that's not really true. I think it's more like me and what I'm posting. I just don't. I don't love it, but like if someone else were to post a video that I posted, I'd probably love it, but it's like because it's me, I'm like harder on myself. So I'm trying not to be hard on myself anymore, but it's just like very hard. That's honestly why I love YouTube though, because I feel like it's just very positive and I don't know, I'm not like sitting there re-watching my YouTube videos, so I'm not constantly just being like, oh, like that angle is ugly or whatever. So that's what I was feeling like today, but I have a call in a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna get on the call and then I don't even know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I've spin later on tonight, and we'll see what we get into. But for now, I'm gonna sit here, do some editing, and then I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I just got back home from Spin. I'm eating some cherries before I make dinner. We're gonna do burger bowls tonight. And I also just got this new PJ set from Amazon. It's actually really, really cute. I will link it, and it's really soft. Hunter washed it for me when I was at Spin. Hunter just went to Whole Foods to pick up something we need for dinner. We're gonna make burger bowls. I absolutely love doing sweet potato at the bottom of mine. He doesn't like sweet potato, so he's gonna get like frozen french fries and put that at the bottom. And then he made some meat before he left ground turkey and then we just have a bunch of toppings i'll show you guys but it's been so much fun i went to holland's class 6 15 on mondays if you ever want to go to nick's it's so much fun and it's like such a good beginner workout there's always beginners in the class it was such a good way to end the night so let's make dinner i'm going to show you guys how we make the burger bowls because they're honestly one of my favorite meals and they're just like really really easy and balanced which i love Okay, we still have our sweet potatoes going, but we just finished cooking up the turkey. We put it in a meal prep container because we're definitely gonna have leftovers. We have some spicy cheese, some tomatoes, jalapenos, avocado, lettuce, and then we have some pickles. These are really good, they're the spicy pickles, and then also pepperoni. And then to top it all, we're gonna do some Dijon mustard, ketchup, and then this is my favorite sauce, as you guys know. It's so good, I'm addicted to it. We're just gonna make our bowls. Does that look done? Yeah. Crunchy enough for you? We try one. <laughs> that was actually funny, I'll feed you. No, I don't want it. it's too hot. Too hot. Don't burn my tongue. They are not crunchy. Oh, did you hear that? So, so good. It's literally a mountain. 